I've suffered from allergies for as long as I can remember. Um, they weren't diagnosed properly until I was an adult, but as a child I was always congested. I always assumed it was the cats. Uh, but when I was had the allergy test done, it turns out I'm only allergic to dust and I'm highly allergic to dust. So it would have been great if I had known that earlier, but now I do, and so now I can treat it properly. Heidi Waterfield uses allergy medications to treat her chronic allergies. She used to spend up to a dollar a day on brand name medications that her insurance did not cover. But two years ago, she made the switch to generic drugs. I switched from the brand name allergy drugs to the generic drugs about two years ago. I need to find savings wherever I can, and they save me a lot of money every year. Surprisingly, despite the cheaper prices, nearly half of Americans are still wary of taking generic drugs, according to a March 2009 study by Consumer Reports. 46% of Americans polled said their physician never or only sometimes recommended generics. The agency concluded that accurate information about generics isn't reaching those who need it most, like consumers who spend $50 or more per month on medications. I have a lot of patients who are on a budget and uh, generic medications can be an important part of uh, making it through the month. Family practitioner Michael Potter says generic drugs are just as safe and effective as their brand name counterparts. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration agrees. In our society there's always a little bit of suspicion about well, why if this is cheaper it must not be quite as good. You know it's like everything else in our society everyone prefers a brand name but in today's world I think people are I don't think A generic drug is allowed to come on the market after a brand name drug's patent expires. To be approved by the FDA, the drug must contain the same active ingredient and be available at the same strength and dosage. As always, your physician is the best judge of what's right for you and your condition. When I switched over to the generics, I really didn't notice any difference whatsoever. Um, my eyes felt the same, my postnasal drip was gone, uh, it took care of the stuffiness I used to feel in the mornings and the evenings. And I was even more likely to take it regularly when I was supposed to because it wasn't, the cost wasn't an issue <laughs> anymore. The hundreds of dollars a year she saves by using generic drugs, Waterfield says, translates into more money for her family. Those savings are really important to us now, especially because of the economic times. We probably spend that extra $500 doing little special things for the family, uh, like getting pizza on Friday nights, going to a movie, um, going out to dinner occasionally, just little special things that we might not otherwise do.